So, you remember these guys? Yeah, I think I figured out what I'm going to do with them. So, over there, I've got a couple of villagers. I think I want to make a villager trading hall. So, plan is, we have the villagers drop down here, the baby villagers. I, uh, then we use carpets over about here and here so that they don't escape out that way. Um, because we, we don't want them going into the mixing into the rest of the village. And then over here, we have the back entrance to the trading hall, including the villagers in our trading hall, and our zombificator. Sound good? Alright, let's build that. Wait. So, here it is. I got it. We have five villagers so far, plus one more I'm not sure what I want to do with. Plus, we have our zombificator in here. Zombificator. Plus, there's an exit, plus carpets. The whole thing. Alright, the next thing we need is a way to cure the villagers. So, what we do have is golden apples. What we don't have is weakness potions. Um, where are they? Four golden apples, plus 48 more gold. That's enough for another... Six golden apples once I get the apple. Hey, I have the apples. I'm not sure if I want to use them on that just yet, so I'm not going to make them golden until we need to do that. Alright, let me clear out my inventory of anything that I don't want to take. Alright, the nether. Hey, it's a ruined portal. I've probably been here before. Probably not, though, because I would have grouped the stuff. None of that looks especially interesting to me right now. I could make a portal and see where this takes me. Because there's one, two, three, four extra blocks, and one, two, three more needed. There you go, there's some gold. Well, perfect, a fire resistance potion. Alright, so back to our original goal, finding a fortress. I think this way is going to be the best way to find a fortress. I don't know why. I just think it will. Well, I found a bastion. I believe that means I will not find another major nether structure. That is to mean a bastion or fortress. In this region, this quadrant, positive, positive, positive x, positive z, so I'm going to head the other way. After all that searching, which was probably just a jump cut for you, but I'm tired of searching for it. Now I just need to figure out how to get over there. And there's the advancement. Okay, all I need for my current purposes is like two blaze rods. So let's come in here. And block up a bunch of spawns into fire nice. But I want to put a roof on this thing mostly. Because I want not very many blazes to spawn. Oh great. Um, it would have been a genius idea of me to get a shield. Oh, great idea. Okay, I've got two blaze rods. I'd like a couple more. So I don't have to make the trek all the way up here again. Seven blaze rods. New objective, make it home alive. Okay, at this point if I die, it's less of a big deal because I'm right, and I didn't die. <sighs> I am done with scary monsters. Brewing stand? Achieved. Oh! 
Oh boy. I finally did it. Spider eye. Gunpowder. Sugar. And most importantly, brown mushrooms. Fermented spider eye goes into the brewing stand. And and just in case you're wondering, yes, I do in fact have the entire brewing table memorized. Potion of weakness. Splash potion of weakness. I think it's time to go use our zombificator. Hello there. You seem awfully bouncy today. Go get the villagers. They're right over there. Oh! Dang it! Ah! No! Now he's gonna have all my stuff. Oh! The big thing is, I do not want to kill him. That would be very bad. But I should be able to recover most of my stuff. Okay. I've recovered all my stuff except for, of course, my armor and my sword, which he has. Which... Okay, you are the Mason and you are the Fletcher. I mind that a lot less than... losing the zombie or something like that. Let's see. Can I hit both of them? Boom. Hey, I'm a zombie doctor. I'm just gonna stick all my extra stuff in here. Nice. Now I have 26 sticks for an emerald. But, we can do better. So I zombified all of them, I cured each of them at least once, I got the Fletcher twice, because eventually I want to get him a lot of times, and now for this Mason, I can grab a bunch of emeralds, and now, nice, 14 stone for an emerald, that'll be awesome once I get Silk Touch, especially if I re him a couple of times. Most of these guys' early trades take less than six emeralds, so I should get, be able to get one emerald per thing. If I want, if I wanted to level this guy up, I probably could level him up one more time. Well, I think that's going to do it for today. I'll probably work on this a little bit more. But, That's all for now. Ooh, 20 for an emerald. And one emerald for a bow. Anyway, good bye.